everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to study for pharmacology. So pharmacology is a class you will take in nursing school. For most programs, it's one of your prereqs, so you take it before you start taking your NUR courses. And in some schools, it actually is an NUR course, or you take it concurrently with your fundamentals or foundations course. So what pharmacology is, is the study of drugs, the study of medications and how they work in our body. So in the class, the expectations will be, you're going to learn about medication safety, you're going to learn the medication classes, and everything that comes with those things. So side effects, nursing interventions, important labs, important patient teaching, all of that. You're also going to learn some legal things because there are a lot of laws when it comes to like medication regulation. So laws related to that. The proper way to administer. So there's different types of medications. You know, there's oral meds, eye drops, ear drops, injections. So you're going to learn the different types of administration. And then of course, dosage calculation. It's not going away. It's going to be in this class too. So get that down. Why is pharmacology in particular so hard? Really, it's just because it's so much information in such a short period of time. So in one week, maybe you have one three-hour lecture or three-hour, 15-minute lecture in a week, and you could go over, you know, five different types of medication classes in that three-hour lecture. So it's just a lot of information. Also, I think part of it is it already has a bad reputation. People already go into it thinking, this is the hardest class, or this class is going to be so hard. So you already have that in your mind, and I think that makes it harder. And then, just as my opinion, <laughs> this one, it's maybe not as interesting, the information that you're learning. You know, when it comes to other classes, like a med surge class, you're learning about, you know, the whole picture, you're learning about the disease process, how it works in the body, how it affects the person, what does the nurse do, the signs and symptoms, it's kind of a big thing. This is maybe not as fun information to learn, but that doesn't mean it's not as important, because it definitely is a very important class. So now that we've actually reviewed all of this, let's talk about my tips for how to study for this class. Okay, now let's talk some study tips. The big one, the first one, is don't waste your time memorizing specific medications. It will be way too much for you. It's going to be very overwhelming if you try to do it that way. Instead, you want to recognize the prefixes and suffixes of the generic names of the medications. So for example, a lot of beta blockers end in OL, OL. So that's how you'll know. Even if you don't know what that med is for, you've never heard of it or seen it in your life, but then you see like, oh, look at that suffix. That must be a beta blocker. I know what that does. Understanding the drug class, those kind of go hand in hand. So when you see a med and you recognize it belongs to a certain drug class, you're already going to know what it's for if you understand what that drug class does. Make flashcards. This is Definitely a class where flashcards are going to be your best friend because it's a lot of information. It's a lot of like memorization and facts. Also check out Quizlet. If you're that kind of learner, you like to learn on the computer instead of, you know, making your own flashcards. There's already a ton of flashcards for pharmacology on Quizlet. You can create little stories in your head or use mnemonic devices to help you memorize this information. Join a study group and teach your friends. A lot of times we learn something better when we're teaching it to others. Find helpful pictures on Pinterest or draw your own. I've been on Pinterest. They have a lot of really cute things on there, especially when it comes to like nursing school tips and help. And they have some really cute ones when it comes to medication. So find cute ones or make your own. Draw pictures. If that's the kind of learner you are and you're going to remember it better that way, do it. Use your drug book or your drug app that you have on your phone. Don't just focus solely on the pharmacology textbook. Make time to study for it a little bit every day. This is not a class where you can cram the night before. It is just way too much information. So you make time to study a little bit every day for this class. And then you should also read your ATI book. If you do ATI, if your school does ATI, you will have a pharmacology ATI book. And it kind of just breaks things down into simpler terms, kind of tells you like the most important need to know information. 
And at the end of each chapter are practice questions. So I would recommend doing those as well. I have a few more tips. Just a few more tips for you. Make an ongoing study guide. So from week one, when class starts, you're going to make a study guide about all the things you learned in class that week. And then save it, save it as a file onto your computer, and then the next week add to it. So add the new information to it. That way when it comes to finals, or midterm even, you'll already have your study guide made for everything you've learned. So make an ongoing study guide and be constantly adding information to it. Retype or rewrite out your notes after class. I know some people prefer to type their notes, some people prefer to write. So either way, do what you got to do after class with your notes because then you'll remember because a lot of this is about memorization. Use your study guide even if it's not required. So what am I talking about here? This is not the study guide that you made. This is the study guide that comes with your textbook. Most textbooks will have an accompanying study guide. Now, is every teacher going to assign you homework from that? No, some of them do and some of them don't. So if they do, obviously you should do it because it's your homework. But even if they don't say like, oh, you don't need to buy that. We're not going to use that in class. You should still get it because it's good practice for you. And they usually have practice problems and questions and it's going to get you more into that like pharmacology mindset. So if you have a study guide that came with your textbook, use it. Organize your binder by drug class. So normally what happens is you have your binder for your class, right? And then you go, okay, this is all the week one information, week two, week three, right? That's how we organize a normal binder. But when it comes to pharmacology, it's so much information and you'll be learning about multiple drug classes on the same week. I recommend instead of organizing it by weeks, organizing it by drug class. That way it's going to be easier for you to find the information. Use different colors to write out your notes. So if you're writing out your notes on paper, if you're making flashcards with them, use different colors because we will remember those things. You know, you'll be taking the test and you'll be like, oh my God, yeah, the side effect, I wrote it in green, I can picture it in my head. So use different colors to write out your notes. Don't forget to look at the learning objectives that your teacher has given you. We do this for a reason. We don't just waste a slide on learning objectives for no reason. The reason we have learning objectives is because this is the stuff we actually want you to know. Okay? So by the end of this presentation, the student should be expected to know these things. So look at the learning objectives and make sure that you know what the teacher has given you. And then my final tip is be comfortable with A and P. It all goes back to A and P in the end, doesn't it? So it's important for you to understand the way the body works, to understand the pharmacokinetics of a medication working in the body, right? So if you don't know how the respiratory system works normally, if you don't understand the process of gas exchange, when you start talking about respiratory medications, it's going to be that much more confusing for you, right? So you need to be comfortable with A and P, and if you're not comfortable with it, review it, okay? Review this information. That was my video on how to study for pharmacology. I hope I made this class seem a little less intimidating and giving you more motivation like, yeah, I can do this, I can pass this class. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and if not, I'll see you on the next one.